Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of RimWorld. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. We are going through some stuff. Um, honestly, it's not terrible. It could We could be in a much worse position. We just fought off a raid, uh, and they had machine pistols and all sorts of bad juju going on. Uh, who is my designated cleaner? Seeds, who of course is in pretty bad shape. Prioritize cleaning that blood, like... That needs to get done. Otherwise, people are going to get infections and it's going to be bad. Ace is fully healed. That's good. Where were you sleeping, Ace? Maybe you weren't sleeping. I don't know. Um, as soon as somebody wakes up, though, I want to check these traders. Maybe they'll have something useful to trade with me. But they came in the middle of the night, which, you know, whatever. And it is... Five degrees Celsius indoors. That is really cold, isn't it? I think it's really cold. So we'll need to, we'll want to do something about that as well. Let Ace clean up the, that room over there. Seeds is going to do some mining. Get some steel for us so we can finish making these vents. That's going to be super important. Blackjack is still recovering, but is recovering and that's the important thing we've got other stuff happening over here we do have guns now that we didn't have before so i'm happy about that what's this supposed to be that's going to be a heater okay cool that's what we want and actually oh you know what i bet that's where all of our power went to is to batteries and conduits and all that kind of stuff uh and marriage lauren and blackjack are getting married nice that's pretty sweet. I'm happy about it. I'm happy for them. So now, I've got this heater going in here. I mean, our power, definitely, we're producing enough power for our relatively modest needs at this point. Uh, we're into December. Oh, they're leaving. Oh, I forgot to trade with them. Oh, well. Well, that was stupid of me, but whatever. Smelly has severe illness. Let's look at his health real quick. Um, he has been treated. I mean, he's... he's He should be okay. Is his blood loss going down? Yeah, he'll be fine. Smelly's gonna be okay. Um, and then Prisoner, I'm thinking... I'm kind of wanting to... Yeah, he's an optimist. Firefighting. Fast walker. I mean, he's got some pretty good traits. So I'm kind of thinking that we want to chat and recruit. Uh, let's look at Wardens. Who's our best Warden? Definitely Blackjack. So, that's fine. Uh, this bed is not for medical purposes. It's for prisoner purposes only. We got a heater here, but it doesn't have power, which is understandable, because I don't have the steel right now to actually, like, do that. Uh, we do have a bunch of granite blocks as well, so we can start building some of these walls. How's our wood? We're in need of wood. For sure. Are you running all the way up there to get, like, one wood at a time? Because that's not the way to do things. Um, <laughs> excuse me. Okay, so let's see. We've got Blackjack is primarily our hunter. When there's no hunting to do, let's say you're primarily going to be our plant cutter. So you're going to chop down trees, essentially. So then we've got Ace constructing. Blackjack, plant cutting, seeds, mining, and Lauren growing. And then, you know, everyone should be a one on hauling and cleaning. Um, seeds when you're not growing is basically going to be research or wait. Ace, when you're not constructing, is going to be researching. When you're not constructing or hauling. Uh, let's take you off of... Well, no. Everyone should be a, a hauler and cleaner. Uh, like, if I if I issue a haul or a clean order, like, I do it for a reason. And I think that's important to remember. Um, mad Animal. Oh, Blackjack. Okay. So, just shoot it, dude. Shoot it in the face. Blackjack, you're getting killed by a raccoon. How's your melee stat? Pretty terrible. There you go. Okay. So, 
it wasn't hunted, but it's not forbidden. So, uh, haul it, and then go get healthy. That's, that's basically what you need to do. Okay. Problem solved. Blackjack took a little bit of, a little bit of damage, but it'll be fine. Um, and I should have someone... I think Lauren will be a two on hauling and a one on cleaning. So you'll still prioritize hauling for the most part, but uh, cleaning will be... We, I think we should have someone who's kind of a designated cleaner. Um, you should be resting until healed. Like, that's, that's very important. And there's more steel in here, so let's go mine. Make sure we get all the steel. We need it. We're running super low on steel and super low on components as well. Um, let's mine all that out as well. Uh, mine these com that compacted machinery there. We need to we need these resources so we can build proper defenses and stuff. Smelly's fully healed, so pretty soon we should be able to attempt to recruit him. We have actually a relatively good chance. Seventy-two percent is uh, is not that bad. That's perfectly acceptable compared to some things. There's also compacted machinery there. We got people with food poisoning, which is unfortunate, but kind of unnecessary evil. Uh, let's go chop wood. Issue a wood chopping order there. Also, those should be deconstructed and turned into their components, which I think will be really important for us. We should look around and see if we have any steel just like lying around the map. I don't see any. There's gold. The problem with gold is that it makes you rich and very quickly increases the difficulty of the game. So, um, because you're how challenging things are, uh, you know, like how how dangerous raids are or or things like that is often tied to how wealthy your colony is. So if you have a wealthy colony with a lot of, uh, with like gold, for example, you're going to get nastier raids coming at you and, and all this other kind of stuff that we just don't want to deal with right now. Um, so let's go structure, granite walls. If I make this wall come all the way down there, it's actually only 185. That's not that bad all things considered. Like, that could be so much worse. 200 there. And... Like so. Because this is all going to become granite. This whole thing is going to be one big, thick granite wall, except for a little area right here where they can walk through. And we're going to try and channel them into a kill box over here. That's going to be the plan, anyway. That also means that my colonists are basically going to end up kind of trapped um, as I build these things, but whatever. Cargo pods, please have steel. That is pemmican, which is not a steel. I believe pemmican is a drug. Right? Okay, no, it's actually a, a food, it looks like. Like a really bland food. So that's fine. I don't think anyone's hurt anymore. Right? Yep, everybody's fine. Everybody's perfectly fine. Um, who's my warden? Blackjack? Uh, okay, so let's make warden a number one priority, just because then he'll actually do it. And it's not something that has to be done all the time around the clock, so let's just do that. Oh, and I just realized that this is not a roofed area. This needs to be a roofed area. Anything under here is going to decay if it's not. So we need to go here, 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 here. And then let's put another one there and there. That's really not looking good. But I just realized that all of this stuff is like deteriorating because it's not under a roof, which is a stupid mistake on my part. Who knows all the stuff we wasted? Like, a lot of this stuff is just deteriorating. 
Um, so yeah, you need to like prioritize this. Um, in fact, we're going to go orders cancel and we're going to cancel all of this. So as soon as you're done working on this, you'll build these things instead. And then we need to go zone, build a roofed area over that. Can't be a, uh, a backup stockpile zone if it's not a roofed area. That was super dumb of me. Okay, there we go. Now we can go back to building this wall. Like so. And yeah, we should probably turn the time back on. Hey, just a thought. We're gonna get this wall built. We'll have to get this ball, this wall over here built as well. The idea is basically to create choke points. That's really what we need to do. We are going to use a lot of granite in order to do that, but I think it'll be worth it. Uh, we also have slate and stuff as well that we could use, but as I said, uh, I think I've, I may have said it before in this video. I know I've said it in previous videos. Granite has a lot more durability. Like if we look at sandstone, sandstone has a durability of 490. Granite has a slate. 455 granite 595 so that, that's like a huge durability increase compared with a lot of other stuff and i think that's well worth it but we also need to get you know all this stuff hauled and mined and all this other kind of stuff we need the steel so we can do other things that involve it uh like for example run power um, through, I mean, we could just run it straight through that building like this, because I really want to have this heater on a separate power switch than this. But then again, I don't know that that's necessarily needed. I don't know. Maybe we just leave it the way it is. This, this heater right here is currently turned off, so it's not doing anything. Um, let's go power and let's just run that to like here. And that'll that way this this heater will at least be able to be turned on and, and active. So that'll be something, at least. And that way when people are eating and in the hospital and stuff, they're not uh, you know, freezing to death. Tur turn those off of medical. You're probably very unhappy. Cramped interior, awful prison cell. Well, you know what? Your own fault. It's a it's a jail cell, not a luxury hotel. Get over it, dude. Still going through granite. Some resources have been wasted. That's fine. Most of my guys are sleeping right now. I really do need Blackjack to, like, uh, you know, do the warden-y thing. Because I want Smelly to join us. I mean, with a name like Smelly. <laughs> but he's got actually really good traits. Fast Walker, Optimisk. He's not willing to firefight, but he's good at mining. He's good at he's good at basically everything except for like firefighting. That's the only thing he's not willing to do. And he's not really good at growing. Or construction or cooking, but he'll be great for mining. He'll be great for hauling stuff around, helping keep things clean. Like, he's a good kind of all-purpose colonist, and that's what I want, is colonists that do all the things, even if they don't necessarily do them all very well. I want colonists who are able to kind of pick up the slack when somebody else is in the hospital or, you know, whatever. Okay, so... Turn on? Are you off? You are not off. Turn on. Is this not... I feel like... I don't know if this... What's this? Yeah, it's on. But it doesn't have power. So... Is there... Isn't there like a reconnect? current but no it's it's getting power visitors okay um 
Who has my best social skills out of everybody? Seeds is a two. Blackjack is a seven. Yeah, so Blackjack. Go find their leader. Mother. Waza. Fosto. I don't think they actually have, like, a proper leader. I think it's just visitors. Like, I don't think they... I don't know. Oh, and Lauren... Oh, harmed you. He's abusive? Lauren. Okay, well, this is no longer for Blackjack or Lauren. So this will now be for Blackjack. And this will now be for Lauren. They broke up. Broken up with Lauren. Was just dumped like a load of garbage. Unsurprising. Considering, you know, you like... Beat her. <laughs> apparently. That's not cool, man. Bad relationship. So I guess the marriage is all... Well, no, I think they were married. Okay, now we actually have a goods trader. So, you come trade. Go down there and trade. Poor health. What's wrong with your health? Your health is fine. Okay, so here's what we want to do. Anything that has a D was worn by a dead guy. So, we're going to trade... Anything worn by a dead guy away. That's going to be important. Because that's just taking up space right now. And it's not super useful for us. So let's get rid of all that kind of stuff. We also have actually some really good stuff here. Psychic foil helmet. 635 silver for that. That's super good. Oh, just kidding. That's what they have. I was going to say, how in the world... Did I make that? But I didn't. <laughs> I could sell him like a Mega Sloth t-shirt for 66 or something like that. But really what I'm... Really the only thing I'm interested in here is... Uh, maybe some components would be good? Honestly, components would be really good. We could buy up to 38 of them. Um, I think I'll buy... Let's buy like... What are we at? 30? Let's maybe buy like 10. That's 285 silver for that, which is a little un... I don't know if that's worth it. Yeah, you know what? I don't really want any of the stuff they're selling. I was hoping they'd be selling like proper medicine, but it looks like that's not something that they, uh, that they stock. So, fine. Um, also, we should really get these grow zones going. Now that our heaters are up and running. So let's go growing zone. And we'll do that. And then we'll do that. And this zone, this, oh, I just realized you don't even have to do that. You can just click on the lamp itself and hit create growing zone. Cool. Cool. <laughs> I feel like an idiot. Okay, well, let's grow heel root and potatoes, I'm thinking. That's that's my yeah, that's that's what I'm thinking. And then uh we'll toggle these to on. As soon as we start growing stuff. So that'll be good. Oh, it no wonder this heater isn't on. These uh, power conduits still haven't been built. I'm not sure why. Oh, because Ace has been building this wall forever. Gotcha. So we need to get somebody else on construction who's actually, like, at least somewhat decent at it. So let's say... Seeds. You're going to help with construction. We need to get that done. We get this wall built. Failed again? Come on. That's like the second time in a row, dude. Get over it. But Lauren is going to grow, which is good. 
And Lauren's actually, like, good at growing. Not as good as seeds, though. Seeds. Buddy. Grow first. Get our crops growing so we can actually do something with this. Then you can go back to construction. And this is now on, so this building should be a lot warmer now. Ambrosia sprout. Aha. Uh -huh. So those are going to grow. I don't know if they'll grow in winter. I mean, we are like in the middle of winter right now, which isn't exactly ideal for growing plants outside. But then again, it is 10 degrees Celsius outside, which is, I believe, fairly chilly, but not unbelievably so. I don't know my Celsius. It's kind of terrible, actually. Um, this stuff is going to have to be hauled. As is that stuff. Because this is going to be in the way of my kill box. When I, once, once I, you know, ultimately make said kill box. Um, I'm just going to let the go juice deteriorate. I'm going to leave it forbidden. I don't want, I have a couple colonists who have like chemical interests and could get addicted to drugs very easily. So I really don't want that stuff happening. Do these automatically turn off at night? It seems they do. They use a lot of power, though. Holy cow. Like, they suck down power. But uh, plants in this game don't grow at night, so I guess these sun lamps just automatically turn off at night, which is honestly kind of cool. Um, let's do a wood floor right here. Straight down the middle. We'll get that going. Uh, also, um, Blackjack is our best doctor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all good. Ace is researching. How are we doing on, on uh, granite? 152. Okay. And we have finished researching Devil Strand, so that's good. Uh, no wonder I couldn't plant it before. It was not something that could be planted. Uh, so, I'm thinking... Instead of strawberries, let's grow Devil Strand. That's probably a better idea. And then... Back to research. Pemmican is... Good traveling food, apparently. Colored lights, electric smelting. What is next on the list of things to research? Possibly carpet making or smithing smithing could be good as well multi-analyzer i mean we can then we can start kind of working our way as far as like ship building and stuff which would be crazy geothermal power though i think that's the the obvious choice because we do have this geothermal vent down here that we'll want to take advantage of at some point so let's get this uh let's let's say geothermal power and then we can worry about kind of the other stuff that's not as important How are these batteries? These batteries are draining during the day. That is a really bad sign. Wow. That is a really bad sign. Um, that means that these heat lamps, like, they use a lot of power. Like, a lot more than I thought they did. So, we need to address that. Um, let's go power. Solar generator. We'll put one here and one here. Blackjack successfully recruited Smelly. Okay, awesome. So, um, do we have an unused bed? We do not. I mean, we do have this double bed, but I really don't want to give it to one person. So we are going to build a new bed right here. That'll be for Smelly. Let's take a look at Smelly. Look at his work schedule. Give him the same work schedule as everybody else. There we go. And then as far as work goes, Smelly, what you good at? Well, first of all, you should be a one on... Oh, actually, you're a decent doctor. You're a better doctor than the surgeon, which is ironic. Um, 
So like that should be your, uh, we'll, we'll make you a two there. Like you're not the, you're not the best doctor we've got, but you're acceptable at it. Uh, we're going to make all of them threes. And the thing is, well, and you have like a super passion for medicine. So let's just do that. Uh, flicking switches should be like a one. That should be like a four. There's literally nothing else for you to do. Same with handling. Cooking will be a four for you. Hunting, you don't have a weapon. So, although you will get one. Uh, yeah, we'll make that like a four as well. Constructing will make a three. Growing will make a four. Mining, we make a one because you're amazing at mining. Uh, we'll say plant cutting will be like a two or maybe a one. If there's no mining to be done, you'll cut plants. Uh, you're actually also our second best crafter. So that's going to be like a two for you. Hauling and cleaning will be ones. Research will be a four. So he's primarily going to be a miner and plant cutter. And then he'll haul and research and all this other kind of stuff as well. So I think that's probably a good idea. He'll, but he'll help with, you know, whatever needs help with or whatever needs to be helped with. So I'm good with that. Build these generators, though, so that our, our batteries don't run out of power. Like, I'm I'm shocked at how... Uh, at just, like, how much power these things are draining. I didn't realize two, two of these lamps drained that much power. It's so much. All things considered. Unless... No? That's all connected up? Like, it shouldn't be draining that much power. This network is... Uh, I've got this big network that includes six solar panels and a ton of batteries. Like, shouldn't be draining that much. I mean, it's got the power it needs. It's just the... Yeah, cut off for... I, I see here. Off for plant resting periods. So they automatically turn off at night. That's actually really nice. I'm glad to hear that. I don't know if that was a quality of life feature that was added or... If the or if it was just always like that, but still, no complaints for me. That's for sure. The downside is, the only power we have is solar, and during the day these things drain like crazy. So uh, let's look at you. You have your DC. You prefer? Oh man, these are all pretty terrible. That's probably better. Yeah, this is probably your best bet. Oh, uh, the awful machine pistol. For uh, That's probably the best bet for Smelly. So when he wakes up... When he wakes up, we'll... Uh, we'll get him equipped with that pistol. But I think that is going to do it for today's episode, guys. I'm going to call it right here. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Links in the description, so check those out as well. Otherwise, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.